So this is the, the actual unit that goes around the, the leg of the person. This is what 31-year-old Christopher Jones wore for months. Looking back at his record, he had been fairly compliant. A GPS ankle monitor tracking every move he made. It's very, very tight, uh, very scrutinized individuals. Jones was on partial house arrest and out on bond. He showed up to court Wednesday to face charges of badly beating his ex-girlfriend with a gun. When jury selection was set to start, Jones asked to call his father in the hallway, but he never came back. Within about two minutes, the officer was calling to locate the defendant to see you know, what's going on. Uh, see if it's a malfunction or if it's an actual uh, alert. Jones was long gone. Within minutes of leaving the Justice Center, his monitor went off on the city's east side at North Walters and Commerce. We had verified that, that he had actually cut, cut the strap on there. Authorities found the tampered monitor at his home. It would take a sh very sharp implement to, uh, to cut this off, and it, to me it would be dangerous because you could you know, cut yourself. A risky and dangerous move Jones was willing to take. He faced a life sentence if he would have been convicted for the assault. Nothing's 100% foolproof, you know. And you know, you even you can put somebody in a jail and, and they can escape. You know, so those those things happen. But that generally, you know, 99% of the people are going to comply and do what they're supposed to do. But it's a move Mike Lazito, director of judicial services, says is not worth the risk. I don't know what was going through his mind at that particular time to to do that. Yeah, but he's got himself in a, a whole lot more trouble than Jennifer Saucedo, Fox News at nine.